The podcast that you're about to enjoy is part of the Low Tree Studios podcast network. To enjoy more great podcasts like this one, visit LowTreeStudios.com. From Low Tree Studios, featuring topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grind. This is the Jason and Mindy podcast. My name is Jason. And my name is Mindy. Hello, wife. Coming up, I will share uh, a statistical look at who we are and the things that we do. It's a little statistical thing I enjoy sharing with with you and with the listeners. And of course, I got truth. Not of course. You don't know what I got. And, and I also have truth or BS. Well, it's probably a lot of BS. Might, might not be. From you, it's probably BS. Well, I will provide some BS, I'm sure, on this show. Mm-hmm. But uh, what, are you, what are you sharing me? I got on the phone and al- alternate facts. Okay. This sounds intriguing. We have no idea what that means. We don't. I don't. Nobody else does. We'll find out. And of course, we have uh, entertainment news, question of the podcast, and more. Welcome those of you listening on your favorite podcatcher and welcome Mindy, Hi. to your own home that you've been in already. You don't need to be welcomed, is what <laughs> I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So it is Monday the 10th of July. It is. All and day. Uh, it's amazing that we are, and I think I may, maybe I've said this already, it blows me away. I, I know I've said it, but maybe not on this podcast, that we're over halfway through this year already it's wild to me to think about that. It's going fast for you. It's It just feels that way. Mm-hmm. Like, think of the things you look forward to and how all of a sudden they're gone, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, I look forward to the trip with the guys and then, it's gone. I mean, we're already halfway. Th- we're, we've been here over 18 months already. That kind of trips me out. I think I, I did say that last week. I had to have because I, I remember thinking um, how annoyed I get with parents who... Don't just say my kid is a year and a half or mm. whatever. Uh, they say 18 mm-hmm, months mm-hmm. and then they 24 months. And you just months, did. And, and I just did it again. I think I did it again. I must have did it last time because I had to remember. I remember that now. Uh, but anyway, that's different. Like that's time, right? Well, Whereas, it's time with kids too. It's time. No, it's yeah, yeah. year. It's should be like in years. I think with, with kids, it's, it's one everything. One year, two is, months. One year, three months. I don't know. I think with kids, though, everything's measured in months up into two, up to two years, I think. So, Maybe that's you know, like is. diapers and formula. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm really just guessing because I don't have, I've never had kids. I just want to make sure you're recording. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's red. It's recording. <laughs> Doing a good job so good. far. Yeah. Okay. So since uh, our last podcast the uh mastered version of nick's song came out so that's cool i don't know if i'm going to share it here with you guys i might maybe i'll share it at the end i don't know if i have it to be honest i'll have to look that's i'm not prepared uh, i don't know why i'm even bringing it up <clears throat> um also fourth of july passed yeah so uh we we had a great weekend we did we uh we relaxed a little bit we got some stuff done i had a friend over who played some music uh we went kayaking yep Board uh, games. We played some board games with uh, Chuck was and Joni. Beautiful. We got up super early in the morning. By the and way, watched the sunrise. We did. That was really awesome. Uh, enjoyed that. It got really hot fast. So we 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 came back and we're in our pool at I don't know nine o'clock in the morning or something like <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, <clears throat> so we we uh, question of the podcast. I forgot to send it. Ask you to send it to Chuck and Joni. They wanted to respond to oh. it, but they don't have the social media and all that business. So. Hmm. Um, you can text it to them if they don't make it in time. That's that's fine. It might be it might be a little late because mm-hmm. I don't see them there. I don't see their vehicles. But I'll do out front, so. while you're talking. I will take a picture and. Uh, don't you have a picture already in your phone? You took a picture of I it do. already. So just just send that over to them. Uh, Chuck and Joni are neighbors, friends, of course. And uh, yeah, we hung out with them and played cards. They they play they played they, with us for the first time. Cards Against Humanity, which is. Can be a little racy, uh, a little controversial, um, but uh, we, we had a good time with them. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the show a little bit. Uh, I'll get started with my thing from uh, the BS Pole Vault, a statistical look at who we are and the things that we do. These are random little stats. They're kind of fun, kind of funny. Mm-hmm. So I'll share them with you, Mindy, and okay. uh, everybody else. 24% of women... 
You want me to wait till you're done? Because I know you can. I know <laughs> that you cannot do two things at once, even though you I just say sent it, so you're in the good. You can. You can go ahead and... And I know I tasked you with that, so I, I was did. trying to fill as much time as I possibly could. people are saying that right now. They're like, Jason, you just told her to... I did. 24% of women say a man is instantly more attractive when he's holding a puppy. I don't know if it's the man that's attractive. I think it's more the puppy. Yeah. So, I, yeah, that's a, mm -hmm. what, what was the percentage? 24%. That's low. It's low. That's not too yeah. high. That, that's my response. So, yeah, that, that's, that's fitting. By the way, um, it's been warmer here. I'm saying this because I don't know why I'm saying, I don't know why I say any of the things I say, I guess I'm just sharing our life with, with people, with you, with people. <laughs> I think our air conditioner might have an issue because it's not like it was th this hot last year, probably. And it feels a little warmer there. I will say it feels warmer this year, earlier this year than it did. I don't remember being like, I don't remember seeing nineties this early. Um, oh, but, do. but our air conditioner is not staying at the temperature we want it to. And I'm like, oh, get a thermostat. And we do need a thermostat because it's the thermostat was, I haven't installed it yet, by the way. We got a new thermostat I've installed. <laughs> but it, it it is failing because there were times where it was dropping way too low. Um, it wasn't turning it off. But I think we have an issue because it, it, it's, we're, we have it set to 75 and it's at 77 and it, it was at 76. So it just keeps going yeah. up. So I think I need to, I need to call the man. Something ain't right. Anyway, I don't know why I brought that up. Uh, <clears throat> probably because I'm looking right at it. 20% of women say they have kept a fender bender secret from their partner. Ooh. That's 20%. That's, that's low. That's low. Yeah, I don't know why you would hide that. I, I wouldn't. I'd tell you. Guess what I did. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this on the show. I probably did. Uh, but I dropped the motorcycle recently. Um just dumb random thing dropped it. And I mentioned it right away to you. I was like, well, first of all, I couldn't hide it because my back was killing me trying to pick up that bike. <laughs> but, um, all right. 16% of men moisturize their face daily. Moisturize. Which is way too low. Every man should start doing that. I put lotion I think, on my face yeah, every but day. It's, it's lotion. not the kind you need. And well, you really, lotion is moisturizer. You need to be massaging it into your oh, do I? forehead yep. and you don't do it. And so, you're just going to look way older. Well, it is what it is. I, I am who I am. <laughs> yeah, you are. What do you want me to do? You know, Absolutely nothing, apparently. I mean, what do you want me to do? 50% of men say they hate shopping for furniture the most. Ooh, that's, that's not necessarily true. I, I didn't mind. We were looking for a couch. Now, it took way too long yeah. to find one. Uh, and I think for the most part, you and I agreed. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it wasn't until Angie came yeah, w and visited in January of last year that we actually, you guys found the one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, and then I had, you had to get my stamp of approval, of and course. And I thank God that we did find it because I really wasn't satisfied. Couldn't find anything we liked. With our final pick that we thought we were going to. Okay. Yeah, we really couldn't find anything we liked, but I don't mind furniture shopping. I actually don't enjoy, what is it? I, I hate Walmart shopping mostly. Mm -hmm. that, like Which, that's okay. the worst. Here's a story, folks. I hate that. Jason came home yesterday. He played pickleball and he played pickleball all weekend long. It I was did. like his favorite thing it was to great. do. It's just weird. Was it? But Why anyway. is that weird? <laughs> so anyway, he comes home and he usually will go straight to the refrigerator and straight for yeah. the pickle juice yeah. and all the pickles. But <laughs> apparently he didn't have any. So he comes home. Okay, this is shocker. He went to Walmart. I did. Walmart. And he came home with a gigantic jar of pickles. I did. And a bag of chips and salsa. But yeah. I, when you told me you went to Walmart, I almost fell over. I, I, I had a craving. Of course, for, I always, for whatever reason, I have a craving. I'm going to, I just, I'm going to, I just, uh, brought it up cause I want to, I want to read a little bit about why it's good for you, but I crave it. I, after, after I, I do that, uh, and I know it's weird cause it's pickleball, right? Uh -huh. I crave pickles, but tell, tell yeah, everybody what really you wanted to bring out. But oh, it's this huge pickle jar. I went there and <laughs> this thing was massive. I don't know. I had a bunch of pickles in it, but I was like, how dumb is that to walk into the store? 
I th- and just buy a big jar of pickles, <laughs> a bag of chips. I would have loved it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Pick what? What is pickle juice for cramps? In previous studies, uh, just one tablespoon of pickle juice has shown to stop e- experientially induced cramps pretty effectively. It's the acid in the brine that triggers nerves in the back of the throat. Oh, that's not that's not the kind of cramps I'm talking about. Back of the throat cramps. What are we talking about here? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Sound right. Uh, Maybe pic- better pre-read. Pickle juice has become a more popular remedy for leg cramps over the years, specifically for the cramps runners and athletes get after a workout. Uh, some athletes swear by it, attesting that pickle juice really works. Still, the science behind it is unclear. Apparently. Well, you crave it. Uh, so. the one longstanding theory of, for how pickle juice works is the sodium content. The juice contains salt and vinegar, which may help replenish electrolytes. Mm. But uh, I don't know. I crave it. Like, literally crave you will it. straight drink the entire... I will. And there'd be pickles in there just with no juice. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. It's pretty bad. Anyway. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, Walmart. I hate shopping Walmart. 13% of women always carry chocolate in their purse. You can't carry chocolate in your purse here. It'll melt. It's, yeah. It'll melt. No way. It'll melt. All over. Be all over your purse. Yeah, no. I'd say maybe gum or something. Like, my grandma always had gum. We we, we, we needed gum. Grandma had it. I usually always had gum, too, but I just, I don't know why. I stopped quite a few years ago carrying it. I don't chew gum. I don't chew gum. Uh, twenty percent of us say we're going. Uh, we're going to cancel a streaming service to save money this summer. Hmm. It's a low percentage, and I think people aspire to do it, but never do. <laughs> yeah, we won't cancel. We're probably we we do watch. Uh, I got Mandy got into football with the. Uh, mm-hmm. What is it? What's the, the thing we did? Football. Fantasy football. Uh, so we'll pick that back up, actually, in the mm-hmm. summer, the uh, red zone. 47% of adults lie to their doctor about how much they drink. Yeah. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Yeah. Uh, I don't tell the truth on that. Uh, I feel like they're judging me, you know? 8% mm-hmm. of people never get a cold. 8% of people never get a cold? Never. That's wild. That's It's low, but that's even 8%. They never get one. I know. That's weird. That is wild. I, I wouldn't. Th- I would think somebody would get a cold at some point in their life. Five percent of adults say they are terrified of escalators. I might be a little terrified of them. Just the beginning. I don't like. like the you're beginning. afraid you're going to get sucked in there or something. Or get something caught. Yeah. 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 I'm not a fan. What's going to get? Especially caught? with when you got a piece, piece of luggage. Nothing's going to get caught unless yeah, you've got trying like to maneuver a dress your luggage and then. You're trying to step on the damn thing, and then your bag's dragging because you don't quite got it on there. And yeah, I think you'll be all right. Nine uh, percent of women say they don't want their partner to wear a speedo this summer. No, I'm sorry, ninety nine. Did I say ninety nine percent? No, ninety nine percent. Yeah, women. we were uh, sitting on the beach. Uh, oh my God, we went. Yeah. We went. I think that. Yeah, we did that on over the weekend. We went to the beach. We did. And then uh, we were sitting on the beach, and I. This older man's jogging Mm -hmm. down. He didn't give a crap. He had the skinniest little Speedo on. It was, I said, Jason, that's going to be you when you're older. Nope. (laughs) It's not ever. That'll never be me. (laughs) I have no interest. I don't think it's attractive. (laughs) His was, his was pretty like horrible. High briefs. It was ugly, dude. It was, you know, all the nuts and bolts were. (sighs) Oh, <sighs> well, why would anybody seen. think that's great at all? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's not good. I love people watching on the beach. though. It's fun. All right. So we, you like food. We like food. I wouldn't consider myself a foodie. Necessarily. I'm, a, I'm a little bit of a foodie because I love the taste. Well, everybody of likes the taste things. of food. I said of certain things though. But a foodie is like someone that really is like all about different foods, different types. Well, I think... Most people try to control that beast because you'll just end up being huge. No, I mean, like, you want to try different... Re- I mean, we do try different restaurants, but you know what I'm saying? Like, they they, they want to try the, like, very unique stuff. And, and let me read this. Uh, would you plan your entire vacation around the food available at your destination? I probably would do that, yes. Yes. Especially if I went to someplace like Italy. Yeah, I'd be like... Absolutely. I got to hit those spots. I mean, we did it a little bit with Chicago. We had to try, 
certain foods that are there, right? That's, I think, I think you have to a little bit because it's, what's the, what's this food in this area that I want to try that it's known for? Like, like, uh, New York is also known for, uh, pizza. So I'd want to try it and their hot dogs and stuff like Philadelphia, like a cheesesteak, you know, you want to try that. California is known for tacos. Tacos. Yeah, street Mexican, Mexican street tacos. Yeah, Mexican food. Uh, a poll of 2,000 adults in the UK, uh, millions do, by the way, do this. A poll of 2,000 adults in the UK found that uh, cuisine is more important than culture, landmarks, or even beaches when it comes to picking the perfect getaway. Uh, the survey also revealed that 42% of adults feel nervous about visiting a country where they aren't familiar with the menu. And while nearly a, a quarter, 23%, say their bucket list is more food-based than location-based. Now, that, that's not true for me. It's both. It'd be both, mm-hmm. right? It's a healthy It's balance. location first, then uh, let's, what's, what's the cuisine here? Let's mm-hmm. try something. I think you got, you've got to do that. Uh, 49% still said they like to eat at local independent restaurants when they're away. Absolutely. I'm not going somewhere else and then going to McDonald's. Yeah. I'm not doing that. That's not going to happen. Uh, anyway, let's get into entertainment news. Okay. It's entertainment news with Mindy. You're going to get yourself some entertainment news. All right. Why, been, why huh? don't you punctuate your texts? My text? Yeah. Oh. You said, can you answer our recording? There's no, it's a run on sentence. Because <laughs> so, you, you were pressuring me. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Kevin Costner has scored a victory in court amid mm. his divorce from a estranged wife. You know, we've been keeping up on this. Christine, remember her? A judge has ordered the handbag designer to <clears throat> move out of their shared family home by July 31st, upholding the terms of their existing prenup. Uh, Christine's attorney argued that she didn't have enough time or money to find another place to live by the end of the month and asked the judge to grant the extension until August 15th. The judge ultimately rejected the request. Wow. Mm -hmm. Getting ugly. Bradley Cooper, Benedict uh, Cumberbatch, Mm -hmm. uh, Russell Brand, Rita Ora, and David Diggs are some of the celebs who test their survival skills in the new season of uh, Nat Geo's Running Wild with Bear Grylls. Nice. I thought that show National Geographic was done. Huh? So I'm kind of so. apparently happy not. That, yeah. So I'm gonna look. Some that good. Up those and, are some A-listers right there. Bradley Cooper, Cumberpatch, Cumberbatch. I don't know what he says his name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kyle Richards and uh, Mauricio uh, have broken their silence on reports that they have separated after 27 years of marriage. Mm. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills duo took to social media hours after it was reported they were astru- still living under the same roof as they determine what will be next for their family. Richards wrote on Instagram in a statement also shared uh, uh, by her husband, any claims regarding divorce is untrue. However, yes, they have had a rough year. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. That I've watched them for so long that that was shocking to me. Yeah. Who, who are they? Um, it's They're a couple oh. I, I, I. in Housewives. You wouldn't watch yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, music notes. Uh, Adele, during a recent Vegas show, she chickenly called out the disturbing trend of people throwing objects at mm. artists on stage. Quote, have you noticed how people are, like, forgetting to show etiquette? People just throwing stuff on stage while wielding a T-shirt gun. She continued... I freaking dare you to throw something (laughs) at me. I'll freaking kill you. (laughs) Yeah. Watch out. (laughs) And lastly, Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani celebrated their second wedding anniversary on Monday. Shelton posted a wedding day pic with words. (sighs) Happy anniversary to Gwen Stefani. Every day has been the best day since I met you. She posted a montage of pics of the happy couple set to her new song, True Babe, Mm. which is inspired by her romance with Shelton. That is cool. And that's your entertainment news. Thank you, Mindy. Hey, babe, you know the time has come for you to answer the question. The question of the podcast. 
is coming your way real, real fast. Yeah, baby, you know the time has come for you to answer the question. Yeesh. Where, where is it? Where is the question? Oh, it's right here. There you go. What was your favorite childhood meal? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like this one. Uh, you were going to... You were going to... Okay, we got... Tell uh, us what your favorite one We got was. answers from uh, Shuck and Joni coming in right now. <gasps> um, favorite childhood meal. Um, oh, I've got a couple. Can I say two? You can, because two. I do too. My I'm, mom is a good cook. I'm going to go... Well, okay. Does it have to be something that mom cooked? No, it's just whatever, like when you think of your childhood, the things you like okay. to eat or you couldn't, you know... Okay, so... Wait to get into your mouth hole. We were broke. Never any money, so it was a treat to go out to dinner. Like mm. a treat. And I remember this place, and I this is where I fell in love with uh, deep-fried hard-shell tacos mm. from a Mexican place. This place called Taco Rico on... In Silmar, I forget what's... Glen, De, Glen, Glen Oaks Boulevard, I think it was. Um... California. Yeah, in California. Uh, And I absolutely loved this place. And when we got the chance to go, I got those, I got the shredded beef. Yum. I'm so hungry right now. Shredded beef. I could have that right now. And their their salsa was amazing. uh And it was just the perfect taco. I can think about it right now. That was amazing. But that, that was, um, that was not something my mom made. It was something we bought. Now, my mom made this stuff, and I didn't like it at the time, but I really crave it nowadays. My mom would make these stuffed bell peppers, and I didn't eat the bell pepper because at the time I didn't really like the bell pepper, but the meat and all the goodness that she put in it mixed with the juice of the bell pepper, it was so good, and I want that. I want to try that. I'll have to make it. Yeah, it was like a red sauce that was in it. Like a, it was a marinara almost, I'm like almost like a sp- spaghetti yeah. sauce. It was so it's good. It's actually oh my God. It would be um, so good. A good keto meal because the peppers are a vegetable, obviously, and then the meat. It was so good. Depends on the sauce. Though. So that's my answer. Yeah. Well, that sounds delicious. Yeah. Oh gosh, my mom was the best cook. So first, there's two meals that just stick in my head right now. One is, and we were poor too, so. She made like a lot of casseroles or like soup dishes. Mm -hmm. So the first one was her chili. Mm. I love her chili. I make it to her recipe to this day. Yeah, it's really good chili. And um, the other one that I make quite often for us is the poor boy casserole. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. It consists of um, mashed potatoes, green beans. Mm -hmm. I think it's a can of like mushroom soup. And which sounds weird, but when it's all mixed together and hamburger, it's and delicious. Bake it in the oven with some cheese on the top. It's so good. Mm-hmm. The yeah. cheese, the cheese is what make t- takes it to the next level. Yep. All right. So Chuck answered. We'll get his answer in, uh, and then we'll see what Joni says if she can answer as well. Uh, Chuck says peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Really? That was his favorite childhood. Okay, got it. Favorite childhood. I think meal. there's a couple people. Uh, that Joni have. says Kraft macaroni and cheese. Oh, the how kind, can I forget? Yeah. The kind that mom made with the powder. Yes. Yeah, yeah Mindy likes that too. I still to this day love mac and cheese, but Kraft. Yeah, well, I used to have that as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Thank you guys for you answering. You actually make that really well. You well, make it very well, creamy. I, add I don't a little know how bit. you do it. I haven't done it in a long time, but you add a little cheese and you add a little bit of milk and you know, you, 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 you make it creamier. You got to make it creamier. You can't yeah, go so with good. exactly what they give you. <laughs> All right. Um, Belle said chicken fried steak. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, mashed potatoes and fresh green beans. Nice. It almost sounds like that meal my mom makes, but yes, that, that would be good. I like chicken fried steak. Yep. Uh, Nanette said, I didn't like to eat, but I did like meatloaf. Oh my God. My meatloaf. mom's meatloaf is amazing yeah. too. Yeah. But I, I would say yours, yours was better than my mom's. Yours was better than my mom's. And I, yeah, I make hers too. Okay. Jim Roberts said school cafeteria fish. Sticks. No, get, get, he never answers seriously. He never. I think he is serious. Cause then he says, oh, and the school pizza. 
So I think, really, yeah. I oh, think, I don't. I, I sometimes I don't, I, I'm skeptical of him. I don't know if he's telling the I truth. I think he's or not. telling the truth on that one. Fish sticks and the school pizza. Okay. Now that's childhood. So yeah, you were probably yeah. pretty excited. Well, to get you look that. forward to lunch. Yeah. When you're in school too. You <laughs> probably have some other things involved there, right? Yeah. Jessica said chicken, just any chicken. Basically, really? still is. She loves chicken. Oh, I'm craving one of those tacos right now. All right, Jody, this is a long one. Jody said, I know that I was pretty fussy and still am. It's strange because I mostly remember the things I disliked eating. Maybe because my dad used to make me sit at the table until my food was gone. Mm. I used to hate scallop potatoes. I remember being forced by him to sit and eat, even if it took a couple hours to eat it, mm. cold and gagging it down. <laughs> wow, this is a bad memory. <laughs> Resolved to never do that to my kids and never did. Mom always had dinner on the table at 5, uh, 5 p.m. on weekdays. Wow. Another thing, and most of my cooking came probably from my that my grandmother, who she's talking about. Any Another thing I did not like was boiled dinner with cabbage. Okay, well, we're I, not asking what you didn't like. <laughs> one of the odd things I remember was something they called buttons, which I didn't mind eating, but still odd. Basically... It's like dumplings with onions fried in butter and mixed in. Okay. Probably my mom's pork beef roast with her gravy and potatoes was probably a favorite. Yes, she did make an excellent roast. Hmm. All right. And uh, she says, by the way, I do love scalloped potatoes now. <laughs> okay. I love scalloped potatoes. They're one of my favorites. Uh, let's see. Um uh, there's some comments. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. They're just yapping between. Okay. okay. Do says as a kid, it was something my family called hot dog Italiano. Mm. It was cooked hot dogs that were sliced into half inch segments like you would slice a cucumber and then cooked in a pot of tomato gravy. Quick, easy, and delicious. That sounds like um, SpaghettiOs, Deuce. <laughs> 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 I'm sure it's much better, though, if his <laughs> mom cooked it Italiano, because uh, yeah. I think he's Italian, right? Yeah. Um, Carol said bacon. Bacon. Okay. Yeah, all right. Candace said still is homemade tacos. Okay. Emily said my mom's poor man's mac and cheese. Okay. Uh, Janet said peanut butter and sweet pickle sandwich. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> There's another weirdo with pickles. That's weird. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is Sarah. Sarah says, when my dad would make meatloaf, still to this day, he will make it for me. Mm, okay. Angie said, chicken and rice, which is my mom's. Uh, goulash with a buttered white piece of bread on top. My, that was my dad. And French toast, which was my brother. Mm, I love French toast. Yeah. Uh, Carol says beef, beef short ribs and barley noodles, which was my grandma's recipe. Pork chops with milk gravy and a dish she called slumgulian. Uh, Carl's favorite is Sophia Lauren spaghetti and uh, my mom's potato salad. And then um, my brother used to make, they call it the Brandon spud because my brother would make it. A baked potato like nobody. Hmm. He would load that thing up and then he'd put it in the microwave. I don't know. He made the best <laughs> baked potatoes. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Cynthia said, Cynthia Serrano. She must, maybe she's a new person. Welcome, Cynthia. She Welcome. Said, Grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. That's one of oh, your I favorites. Love it. Yeah, I love that. It's one of my favorites for sure. Quintez says, chicken nuggets still to this day. I We love us. Uh, we, me and I like Jason, chicken strips, we, not nuggets. Yeah, we eat the strips. Yeah, I like strips. Yep, yep. And I think that's it. Well, thank you, everybody. That was really good responses uh, for this one. It's and food. I, we got it in sort of late. Yeah, food's easy, right? Yeah. Food is very easy. All right, so the question of the podcast for listener participation for next week is, where would you choose to live if you had to leave this country? Ooh, that's interesting. Mm. That's a good one. Here you go, Mindy. So Mindy will take a picture of it, post it, and we will discuss it. Thank you, everybody who responded. We appreciate it. Uh, and, of course, we'll feature that next Wednesday. Mindy, oh, what do you got for us? On the phone. How often do you power down your smartphone? Mm -hmm. Not enough. Probably. I don't think I do either. 
Yeah. So it's saying, um, it, it, giving it a chance to reboot and right. refresh. Okay. Not very often. According to a Reader's Digest article written in consultation with experts, your smartphone has a hard and fast rule you should live by. Once a week, shut it off. Oh. Let it rest wow. at least one minute and then fire it back up. Really? Mm -hmm. There are a number of good reasons for this, including retaining memory, preventing crashes, making it run more smoothly, and prolonging the battery life. Wow, okay. How so, you ask? Uh, how so? <laughs> Restarting the phone clears open apps and memory leaks and gets rid of anything draining your battery. Okay. Oh, and believe me, my phone lets me know when it's time to restart it because, uh, you know, like when they, when you need to download a new, mm -hmm. what, you know, the downloads that come on your, yeah. your phone will just Updates. stop, start acting stupid. Yeah. Updates. It gets weird. You have to restart mm -hmm. it. Yep. Um, let's see. Be honest. Do you spend too much time on your phone? Sometimes at the expense of paying attention to the people around you. Yep. Well, there's we all a, do that. Yeah. Well, there's a new term for that. It's called fubbing. Mm. Research shows that an average person spends three hours, 23 minutes every day on their phone, mm -hmm. equivalent to around 50 days a year. But all this screen time is not just bad for the eyes. It can harm relationships, of course. And admit it, at some point, we've all been guilty of fubbing, also known as phone snubbing. Research shows that we're like most likely to uh, fub the people closest to us. Partners are fubbed the most, followed close friends, siblings, children, mm. and parents. Mm -hmm. uh, younger people fub more than older people, but there are, there's no noticeable difference between how often males and females fubbed. All right, well, what is your daily average screen time? Let's find out. Okay. On your phone. So all you got to do is swipe down and go to the little search area and just type in screen time. Uh, search area. Let me show say, you. Say that one more I'll time. I'll do it for you. Okay. Because uh, otherwise it'll, it'll, it'll be embarrassing how long it'll take. <laughs> oh. How was your cider? It's gone. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a, it, it is a little sweet. They are a little sweet, but, uh, there you go. <clears throat> Well, it's 19 minutes. Da daily average is what? There's no way. Oh, that's today. All right. We need to go into, um, we need to go into activity. See all activity. Uh, do, 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 do. So mine says daily average is two hours, eight minutes. Yeah. Mine is one hour, 31 minutes. And the only time, the only reason probably that is, is because I play that stupid yeah. uh, thing at night. I look at the weather a lot. It'll tell you what you're on a lot, mostly. Yeah, weather, weather a lot. All right. Anyway, that was fun. Glad, yeah. glad we mentioned our screen time. <laughs> What's your screen time, everybody? <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Mindy. Um, okay, so the alternate facts. As honest as we'd all like to think we are, the truth is that everyone lies yes. sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah. A Reddit user asked, what is one lie everyone tells? Mm. Perhaps some of these answers might make you feel a little less guilty for some of the partial truths you've spouted. Okay. So the first one is, sorry, I missed your call. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I've, I've uh, deliberately not answered calls before, for sure. <laughs> and the little little saying is, "Is nope, I was looking right at the phone when it rang. <laughs> I looked at it, and I was busy or something. And you know, at the time, I didn't feel like answering it, you know. Next one is, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. Hmm. And then this... Oh, you think that people lie about that? I think sometimes maybe, but I, I usually Well, I think don't. it's the other person going... I've always wanted to say something like, okay, pay yeah. my power bill next yeah, month. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> not anything. Not anything. Yeah. It was nice talking to you. I usually, when I say that, I mean it. I usually do too. I won't say it otherwise. I don't think there's been too many times. I just won't say it. If it yeah. wasn't nice talking to you, I'm not going to say it. Uh, yeah, right? It was. Uh, the next one is, I don't judge. Everybody, Everybody judges. Everybody judges. Everybody. That'd be dumb. Yeah. I don't know where you're, oh wait, 
I don't know where your really loud, annoying toy went, sweetie. Mm, yeah. Parents. How about you play with your coloring book instead? Yeah, that would be what I would say to my dog if I had an annoying toy for him, for <laughs> right. sure. Uh, I don't care what others think of me. Uh, that's not true. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten better at not caring. I really genuinely can say that there are some people I care what they think. The people mm. that I care about, I care what they think. The people I don't care about, I kind of enjoy that they, uh, that I don't care what they think that I, I, it's kind of, kind of hard. I'm not really saying that correctly, but I almost want, want, don't care. You know, it's like, I want them to think what it was, think whatever you want, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I'll play into that a little bit. Like I'm talking about people that I just, mm -hmm. especially in work, the work environment where there's people that maybe are a little bit this or that. Kind of, I don't, I don't care if they, if they don't like me. I mean, it's one of those things where I've been in a lead position before. And when you're in a lead position, you have to not care what people think of you. As a manager, you cannot care if everybody likes you and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, you, people yeah. won't. Yeah, that's that's just your job. Yeah. Okay, I read the terms and conditions. Never. Never. Barely ever. <laughs> to the This is to the dentist. Yes, of course I floss every day. No, I never say that I actually do because I don't. I don't either. I'm pretty honest about it. Yeah. Uh, next one is, yeah, I'll definitely have to watch that show you recommended. Thanks. I rarely, rarely will. I actually. You yeah, do a lot. Me and my sister. You guys do a lot. We, yeah, and I usually watch just about everything. Uh, I'm almost there, which. That's never the fucking truth. <laughs> and the person shows up 20 minutes later. It's never the truth. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. All right. Those were good. I liked it. All right. Let's get into fun facts then. <laughs> Fun facts. The average car has 30,000 parts. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. I can believe it. It's every nut and bolt and washer. And Fact. It takes a drop of water 90 days to travel the entire Mississippi River. How many? 90, 90 days? 90 days. Wow, that's crazy. So um, how, they, how do they measure that? How do they fucking know? I, it's based on the speed of the river. They, they yeah. figure a drop drops here and then how the, they can measure oh, how I quick see, like the, the river is running. Oh, yeah. I see. Uh, so I've said this before, I think, as a fun fact or somewhere, but so it's a repeat really kind of because I know this. Elvis Presley didn't write any of his songs, not a single one. Really? Yeah. I don't think I knew that. All right. Fact. The first time the word period was used on TV in mm. reference to menstruation. Ow! Oh. was 1985. Why period? I don't know. Why they call it period? But I get really tired of seeing those commercials. Like, I don't even... I think if they just never played one, all women would be fine. Women know they need... And we know we'll find it. And they'll figure it out. Exactly. We don't need it broadcast. We don't need, it, we don't need commercials about it. Especially with... They have some right now that are yeah. just gross. With what's her name? That comedian? What's her name? <laughs> comedian. Fuck is her oh, name? uh, oh. Blondie? Talking, talking about size. If this size feels too big, <laughs> size down. You know, it's like, do you really need to be told or, that? Okay. And then there's this one commercial that they have these kind of bigger, sweaty ladies exercising talking about mm. their pads and no they're one, all in leotards by the way no one needs to imagine nobody needs to yeah because some people like me your brain goes instantly not instantly to the area that we're covering exactly right and i'm thinking you're in the sun you're in a leotard and it's sweaty and you're sweaty now you got your sweaty cooch pad <laughs> And I don't need to imagine that in my head. It's so gross. I, I, every time that commercial comes on, I just, I want to gag. No, and, and respect to the cooch pad. I respect it. No, no you, you need it. You need it, women. I you, get it. You need it. But I don't need <laughs> to visualize it. There's things that can be left alone. It really is. You know, Deuce would say that, right? So he, he's not all, he's not about the farting, <laughs> right? None right. of that business. <laughs> He's not, he's not about it. Um, and, and so in my, in that regard, I'm, I don't care, but when it comes to like this, mm -hmm. just don't need to know. 
Yeah. Just don't need to be, that's I what, don't need a commercial about it is what, I, is what, it's what, is what it exactly. is. Exactly. And that's why I said, even women, yeah. we don't need to know. We'll figure it out. You will figure it out. But I don't need to see it. You don't need a commercial telling you what you need. Especially that one. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Fun facts that was, in the books. That was a nice little rant. <laughs> uh, oh, that's mine. Mine now. Let me go back. Let's see what I got here. Oh, I've got truth or BS for you. Mm. I have. Okay. Give me a little quiz. I need my, my music. I should put it on here. My, uh, I don't think I have it on here. My, my trivia music. Oh. Trivia. No, it's. With Jason. That's not it. <laughs> Truth or BS? Ready? Yep. I think I, I think I've heard this one before. I've said this one before. A cross between a horse and a zebra is called a hubra. Truth or BS? A cro- no, that's false. False. That's BS. It is BS. A male zebra and a female horse create a zorse. Yeah, I was gonna say it's. I know it's not that. It was that. And a female <laughs> zebra and a male horse. A female zebra. And a male horse create a zonkey. Where does the zonkey come in? I don't know. All right. Australia, Mindy, is wider than the moon. True or BS? Wider than the moon? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with truth. It is true. Nice job. The moon's diameter is 3,400 kilometers, while Australia is 4,000 kilometers wide. Nice. Uh, truth or BS, Meghan Markle's first name is Rachel. Truth. That's yeah. my phone. Yeah, let's shut that off. That is true. You're correct. Yep. So far, you're doing really well. You've made <laughs> all three so far. 50 Cent and Charlie Chaplin were alive at the same time. True or false? That's false. Cor- incorrect. It is true. Chaplin died in 1977. 50 Cent was born about two and a half year. It was about two and a half years old. Really? 50 Cent was born in 75. I was thinking that uh, Charlie Chaplin like died way earlier than that. Yeah. Well, you thought wrong. Uh, the skull is the strongest bone in the human body. Truth or BS? Is the hardest bone? Strongest. Strongest bone. I'm going to say BS. It is BS. It's the femur. Yep. I was going to say with the femur. Uh, A snail can sleep for one month. True or BS? I'm going to go with truth. See, up to one month. Up to one month. Truth. It's BS. A snail can sleep up to three years. Well, I was thinking it was longer than that. Well, you got it wrong. (laughs) Dang. Okay, last one. Your nose produces almost one liter of mucus a day. True or BS? That's BS. It is true. You failed the last (laughs) half there. You got three in a row. You got the Charlie Chaplin one wrong. You got the femur one right. Well, there's something wrong with my nose then because... So you were four for three. Nothing's happening in my nose. You swallow most of it. Oh, maybe. Guaranteed. Okay. Whatever. It runs down the other way. You're stupid. Okay. (laughs) All right. It's the water cooler question. A study showed that people do this 20% more on the weekend. What is it? You Take a nap. This, you do this 20% more. No, that's a good answer. It's incorrect. Um, cook. Incorrect. Um, play like an activity. Incorrect. Fish. Incorrect. Um, go out to eat? Restaurant? Incorrect. Wow. More on the weekend. Twenty percent more on the weekend. Go outside. Incorrect. I don't know if you're gonna get it. 
I don't know either because I've listed all the things that I would do. Clean? It is. House? Uh, it is Wash an expression. It's an expression. Oh, an expression. Um, uh, yawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's also an action. Yes, the yawn is an action. It's an expression, but it's also an action. I'm going to go something with, you might not do in the middle of the work week, but you will do it much more. You, the, the, the possibility is much more likely on the weekend. Laugh. You're close. What's usually before and after a laugh? Before and after a laugh. Usually a laugh is bookended by this one thing. Joke? No, it, it's it's you, but let's say you're at a comedy club and you're watching a comedy show. You're laughing. What are you doing in between laughing? Smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you had to feed that one to me. I did. That oh was a God. that was a that was T ball. We played some T ball there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm really unprepared with my answers, so we're going to have to help each other out. Okay. First one is, if you were hired to show tourists or aliens what life is like where you live, mm. what would you show them or have them do? Mm. Teach them how to play pickleball. Mm -hmm. I also show them... Uh, oh, that's just the first thing they came Kayaking. up. Kayaking. That's my answer. Yeah. Take him out kayaking. Take him to the beach. Show mm -hmm. him how to how to ride waves. Yeah. You know, like I would show them um, how to look for alligators. <laughs> yeah, what they look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Fair. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> what's popular, but you refuse to get into it, and mm. why? This one I had a hard time with. Mm. What's popular, but you refuse to get into it, and why? Oh, man. Uh, I know. Not that I get into everything popular. I just... Maybe golf for you. No, I didn't refuse. I tried, really to, get, I tried to get into golf. I just fucking hate it, um, to be honest <laughs> with you. I hate it. And I don't want to play it anymore. I'm I'm kind of done with golf. I mean, I might play par par You're threes. You're not done. You're gonna. I'll go play with par me. threes. I'm not. I don't know that I want to play long courses anymore. Yeah. Play par threes. Someone at the door. Yep. Someone's at the door. What is it? You don't know. Let's find out. Get him, Blue. Somebody texting. Oh no! It's a, it's a, probably a a box that's showing up right okay, now. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, whatever. Yeah. Um. What's popular, but you refuse to get into it? I don't really have a good answer for that. I don't either. I could not think of... I, I just think we're not in the end, you know? We don't know what's popular. Uh, maybe I'm not hanging out with people, yeah, where it's, not, it's like, oh, let's do this. It's so popular. And maybe there's not, like, this huge trend right now either. Yeah. Like, at least, like, I mean, people got into Pokemon and dumb shit like that. Video games. I remember when people were really into video games, and I just never wanted to get into that shit. Yeah. You know, my friends were all into video games. Um, I just ne never really got into it. But uh, I don't know. I've always been a little different. I didn't usually necessarily go with the trend. But um, I didn't refuse it because it was trendy, though. Yeah. You know, if I liked it, I liked it. Period. So uh, here's one that we can both probably answer this one together. Or if you can think of like like past ones. Mm -hmm. uh, what nicknames do you have for people in your neighborhood and why? Mm-hmm. Now, our direct neighbors across the uh, street, we call them Chachi and Joni. Yeah, Joni and Chachi. Joni and Chachi. You have to say it that way. Oh, whatever. Joni and Chachi, uh, happy days. Yeah, from happy days, yeah, because it's Joni and mm -hmm. Chuck. It's close. You got it's Chuck, 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 
Chachi. Um, <laughs> do we have any other ones? I was trying to think of different places we've lived and maybe some not so good nicknames for. Oof, I like, don't think we like had the uh, what's the uh, Silence of the Lambs dude. Oh, that was just a creepy guy that walked around the neighborhood back in the day. I called him Silence of the Lambs guy. He was the uh, uh, what's that? What was the guy's name? Oh my god. Oh shoot. Buffalo Bill, yeah. Buff- Buffalo, Buffalo, Wild Bill, Wild Bill, Bill Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. Bill. I think it was Buffalo Bill. Fuck. Everybody. I'm horrible with I this know. stuff. Tina's, so bad Tina's at it. Tina's probably yelling at us right now. Buffalo Bill. <laughs> Can't it's be Buffalo Bill. Bill. <laughs> it's probably not. I'll look it up. Go ahead. What's anyway, the next one? So, yeah, so that's it. So then the last one is what weird potato chip flavor or flavor combo should exist? Hmm. But they make well. Maybe they have it. So I don't know. I don't. I don't explore potato chips. Yeah, it's Buffalo Bill. Um, I think they should make like a all American hamburger chip. So like it should taste like ham, like a fried hamburger with cheese and pickles and ketchup and mustard chip. Wow, that's pretty. It's pretty inventive of you. I'm gonna say like a sriracha, but I guarantee there's one. There's got to be I don't be know about one. sriracha. Oh, it'd be so good. Like a sriracha well, chip. Some, maybe there is a sriracha, but. That'd be really good. I would go for that. I'm sure there is one out there somewhere. I've just, I've just never stumbled well, across Well, you know, they it. make so many now. They do. I mean, they even make like. I'd say pickle the or. vinegar ones, which we love. Oh, I love the salt and vinegar. Um, I'd say pepperoncini, but they have that. They do I'd say have that. pickles, but they have that. Yep. They have dill pickle. Um, let's see. What else can I think of? Something that I like. That's about it. Yeah. Boy, we're boring as shit today, huh? <laughs> Their answers. Well, you know, it's just kind of it was kind of the luck of the draw. Mm-hmm. All right, well, quote. Okay, time for a quote. Thank you. We'll just close this bad boy. Close this bad boy. <laughs> Let's get some dinner on. Oh, I'm gonna eat ribs. What are you eating? I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. To be one to be united is a great thing, but to respect the right to be different is even greater. Yeah. Next one. You can't protect yourself from sadness without protecting yourself from happiness. Is that the yin and the yang? Yeah. Yeah. And satisfaction lies in the effort, not in the attainment. It's true. I had to think about that one. Sorry. Count your age by friends, not years. Yeah. Count your life by smiles and not tears. Smiles. Smiles makes another appearance. Yeah. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, you got to tell me like that's it. I don't like, need to tell you anything. You got to like, hey, that's it. And those are your <laughs> hey, quotes. Hey, Jason. Huh. You can wrap it up now. I've been using that music for so long. It's crazy. We don't change. We don't fucking change. Um, all right, that's it for today's show. We hope you loved the show. We had a good time. It's it's Monday. We're expecting rain. I'm gonna give a shout out coming. to our friend Bob. Yeah, we know he's listening. Bobby Hi, Bob. Has. I gave him a text. He's got some wild job where he's gonna be deploying. I stuff. know. Things change. Very man. proud of you, though, Bob. Things change. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. So check out our other shows. There, we haven't done any of them. Um, but if you just feel like going back in time and listening, they're, they're, they're pretty entertaining. We've done a lot, a lot of shows. So the links are provided in the show notes, or if you just like stumbled across us and you want to go back in history with us, you can check it out there. Or of course, on your favorite podcatcher, enjoy your evening one. And thank you for listening to the Jason and Mindy podcast, where we feature topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grind. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.